Well, hey guys, it's uh, Spiffy Guy, and I'm out here for another adventure. And this is the uh, the first mega of the fall. We have two going on with the Ozark Trail, and I'm down here at the Current River, and uh, I'm at Round Spring Park. Is it a national park? It's part of the Ozark Scenic Waterways, which is a national park. Somewhere up here, which you probably can't see because it's dark. Is the spur of the Ozark Trail that we're building. And we're gonna kick that starting on Saturday. But today is Thursday night. And I just showed up. I'm the first one here. And I'm gonna be setting up camp and we'll, we'll be dropping tools and things like that tomorrow. But it's uh, it's super awesome. And I'm gonna be camping right up there, which is uh, in the group campsite. I'm gonna got a bunch of firewood here too, which is nice. And uh, I'm gonna set my tent up before it gets too, too dark. And there's tons of uh, horse hoof prints on the ground, which is very exciting because there is um, wild horses around here in this area. And I'm hoping to see them. I haven't seen them yet, but uh, it's very exciting. It's gonna be hopefully a good weekend. We might get some rain, and uh, but the temperatures are getting bearable. You know, highs in the in the mid 70s, which is fantastic. So stick around. Good morning guys, it is 6.30 in the morning and the uh, sun is just barely starting to creep out. It's a lot lighter than actually what you see in the camera. But there's little tiny hints of red coming up in the sky and the clouds look like they're gonna start breaking. I uh, set the little fake GoPro up by the fire, or um, by the river, and I'm doing a time lapse. Hopefully that will come out I'm, uh, I got a fire going, not that I need it, but uh, I want to burn the logs down to coals and then try cooking up some eggs on my uh, Pathfinder skillet. Um, I seasoned it up a bit at home with some coconut oil and I've got uh, some ghee and coconut oil blend that I'm gonna uh, use to try to keep the eggs from sticking. Uh, the Pathfinder skillet is, is kind of new. I've used it uh, twice on a one trip and I like it. I just need to learn how to cook with stainless. It's gonna be kind of uh, a little bit of a learning curve for me. I'm not really much of a cook. So uh, typically when I'm backpacking, it's you know boil water and, and do some ramen or dehydrated meals, things like that. So uh, it's something new, not something I'll bring every time, but it's car camping, so why not? Uh, it's a bit chilly this morning. Um, I was able to use my pause blanket, which is just a, a thin fleece uh, sort of quilt last night. And it, it did all right. It's a little bit uh, small as far as the, uh, the width around the shoulders. So there was some gaps. I thought about breaking out the 20 degree quilt because I had it with me. Not that I needed it for the warmth, but just to keep those drafts from coming in. But I decided to just get up and get busy. So I'm looking forward to these eggs. We're gonna uh, let it get a little bit more light and then we'll uh, we'll get rolling. I did see the horses last night. There was three of them. It was the mom and uh, two yearlings, I think. And they came through at the other end of the group campsite. I did take some footage, I'll put it in here. I mean, it's not very good. Uh, this camera doesn't do extremely well with low light. And uh, so uh, I was kind of hoping to maybe see them during the daytime. Hopefully they're still around. 
I thought I heard something across the river this morning, but uh, I didn't hear anything. So really, uh, overall, a fantastic night. It was a full moon last night. It's the, uh, the harvest moon, and uh, it kind of came up right over there, and you can kind of see the sun starting to pop out. So it was really just, it was a fantastic camping experience last night. So I'm really looking forward to this weekend. It's going to be uh, quite the pleasure, and... and definitely what I need so stick around so my fire has just about died down I'll spread that out I've heard conflicting things on stainless steel you want high heat or you want to bring the pan up slowly I'm not sure so but the idea is to take a little bit of this uh, this here ghee and coconut oil organic no less stick it in the Pathfinder skillet and uh, kind of coat the, the whole thing Chuck in three eggs, my leftover pepperoni, cook it, and then eat it. It seems like a pretty simple plan. But it is turning red. The white balance is slightly off. It's really kind of a dark red. And uh, it sprinkled. It just started raining. And then it stopped. But that's all blue sky up there. And then uh, over here is the clouds. We are expecting possible chances of uh, of rain today on Friday. And then possibly a chance of thunderstorms on Saturday. I'm hoping not. But uh, I'll tell you what, the, uh, the Agawa Canyon saw, I've been meaning to do a review. I need to get some footage and, and write some stats down. I'm telling you, that, that saw is the bomb diggity. I had this uh, this log. I don't even know what it is. This was all underwater. You can see debris uh, up there and up in the trees. This was all underwater. I mean, these trees literally, it was like 30 feet of water right here in the spring. It was crazy. Anyway, so there's a bunch of flood debris back in here, and that it means nice and really good dry wood, and it burns like crazy. So, you know... Uh, goes up real quick but hopefully it makes some coals and so i'm gonna get busy and start cooking my eggs All right guys, it, it's not sticking too bad. I got a few little bits here and there, but you can see that it's scraping off. So it's 100% better than it was last time. And these are pretty much done. So definitely a lot better than it was uh, last time. And so what I did was I kind of seasoned it uh, just like you would a cast iron. And I used coconut oil. Put some coconut oil in there, kind of get around all the edges and by where the uh, the little uh, rivets are for the handle. And then bring it up to heat. Once the oil starts to smoke, take it off the heat and let it cool down 100% completely. Wipe it out and do it again. I did that like four times at home with coconut oil. And uh, yeah, world of difference. And cleanup shouldn't be too much of a problem here. So that's Pathfinder School. Uh, pathfinder skillet so the handle uh, folds down there's a lid that goes on there now if i think about it i'll try to put a weight up here but definitely not um a backpacking thing but definitely a good bushcraft skillet uh, i really like it so there you go and i'm gonna eat these eggs actually it's kind of pepperoni with a little bit of eggs so that's what it looks like when it's all done. I did wipe it out one time with paper towel. So I do have a little bit of material still stuck, but I don't think that's bad. I'll just take it down to the river, put a little gravel in there, a little sand, rinse it out, and we'll see how it works. But because this is seasoned, you don't want to use soap because soap will pull off all the, uh, the oils and things like that. So just kind of wipe it out. I guess one question I have is uh, since ghee is clarified, do you can you use that as part of the seasoning? 
or do you have to worry about that going rancid? I don't know. Anyway, so the time lapse came out pretty good. It was about uh, about 50 minutes worth of time lapse, and I do get uh, questions occasionally as to what kind of camera I use uh, for the GoPro. I keep referring to it as the fake GoPro, and somebody sent me a message and said, "What's the difference between a real GoPro?" And really, the big difference is price. Uh, this is a Get Up, as you can see. It's the Get Up Two, and uh, the tripod I'm using is the Zip Shot which is a, uh, uh, it has bungee cords in there like a, a tent. So uh, some folks have seen that, some folks have not. So it weighs about 11 ounces. It fits real nice in a backpack. So rather useful to be able to do a tripod. Uh, currently I have a little, um, one of the very small Gorilla Pods and I'm looking to upgrade to the, um, the one that's a little bit larger designed for uh, digital SLR. Uh, just because it, it'll have a little bit more heft to it and it'll be a little bit easier to position than a little tiny six inch one. So I'm gonna take this down to the creek and we're gonna get that going. Uh, the National Park guy has said that uh, he's got a group of kids coming through here and I need to put on a presentation about tools for building trails. So uh, I didn't realize that was part of my uh, job this morning. So I guess I better get some tools out. But uh, we'll, we'll take it down to the, the creek and now we'll, we're down there, we'll get some water and uh, just make sure all these coals are out because that's important. I found the horses this morning. Of course, they're hanging out next to the bathroom. But they got a good field here. They're a bit skittish. I think that's the yearling right here. I'm not sure which one of those two is the mother. It's certainly beautiful. Now, if I remember correct, and I could be wrong, but these are part of the Shawnee River herd, is what they call the uh, the horses. They're um, a specific type of breed that is uh, a little bit smaller and more stout than I guess the, the Western wild horses. I'm not even in frame. That's awesome. These are the wild horses. Do not feed wild animals. This is what happens. They need a brush though. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's spotted. Look how that one's 